Washington is going after TikTok again, and this time it just might work. I'm Kimberly Adams, Senior Washington Correspondent for the Public Radio Business and Economy Program Marketplace. Let's get into the latest on this. So the House of Representatives voted overwhelmingly on Wednesday to pass a bill that would force TikTok parent company ByteDance to either sell off TikTok in the U.S. within 180 days of the bill becoming law or be banned from U.S. app stores. Now, this isn't the first time the federal government has tried to ban TikTok. Lawmakers and national security officials are worried that TikTok is sharing the tons of data it has on the more than 150 million Americans who use the app with the Chinese government, something TikTok swears it's not doing. Donald Trump tried to ban it in 2020, but a court blocked that effort, and TikTok is already banned from federal government devices, although federal officials clearly still use it, and their campaigns certainly use it. But TikTok has been fighting back. According to Open Secrets, which tracks money and politics, ByteDance has spent millions of dollars lobbying Congress on the TikTok issue, including almost $9 million in just 2023 alone, which as you can see is a pretty big jump from previous years. Politico even reports that former Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway is lobbying on TikTok's behalf via the Conservative Club for Growth. But TikTok's most aggressive lobbyists are probably the army of content creators and obsessive scrollers who are also advocating for Congress to stay away from the app. Now the bill is in the hands of the Senate, and President Biden says he'll sign it if it passes. Of course, we'll be covering the story on Marketplace, so check us out on air or on our podcast for the latest.